Hey, y'all, real quick video here on how to tell when your goat is about to kid. So, I am going to show y'all food. And um, I can tell that she is really close. She isn't technically due for about a week, but I let my bucks run with my does for a while. So, my due dates are not exact. But I'm noticing some different behavior in her. Look here. She's separating herself from the herd. She's standing weird. And I just saw discharge coming out. So she is really close to kidding. See? She is a pygmy. Her name is Boots. She was born in April of 2020. Um, so she's coming up on... Actually, almost two years old. She had a, do a buckling... Um, in February of last year, but she, I would say she may deliver today. I had her pegged for February 13th, but that was an estimate because like I said, um, the bucks ran with the does. So see that discharge hanging out? I had just built these barn doors and installed them yesterday. And I do have more that I'm going to set up. I have about 10 does that are kidding They've got fresh hay and a heat lamp. She's separating herself, and she does absolutely look ready. Her sides are sunken in. It's hard to tell. Her sides are sunken in, but um, she is looking like she is ready to go. I do have to go pick up my kids from school here in a minute. I really don't want to leave, but she could be a few hours from delivery, too. But I would absolutely say it will be happening here imminently. I'll try to catch it on video and post it to our channel page but um this is just helpful helpful information on if you're a new goat owner you've never had a kidding on your farm and you're really just interested in the signs to look for when your goats are about to deliver so sunken insides relaxed puffy swollen back end separate themselves from the herd um which she has been doing the last couple days I have been watching her every day. She also does have a marked difference in her um, in her bag. So it's looking fuller, not quite as huge as I would expect it to be, but um, she's definitely close. I have to go leave in a minute, but I'm gonna sit here and watch her for a minute. Um, I ultrasounded her because I do also run. Um, and operate, own and operate Arkansas Gold Sounds and more. So I ultrasounded her and she has two at least in there. Two to three. Probably two. Um, so I'm anxious to see what she delivers. Last time it was a single buckling for her first time. This is her second kidding. So I'm excited. Stay. See, I can see her from in here. There she is. I'm so thankful that I had this barn built. I did it by myself in one weekend. It's a um, 16 by 16. It's fully covered, fully enclosed. They've got their stalls, heat, hay, water. They're gonna be just fine. It's about 50 degrees today, so I'm not worried. I do wanna be here in case problems with the delivery, but she delivered on her own just fine last year. But a good goat owner just kinda wants to stay, stay by and see what's going on. All right, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message or just watch for the video. But um, we are excited. Goat babies are happening. I have 10 pregnant mamas who should be giving between 10, uh, 10 mamas for 20 plus babies, 20 to 28 babies. So I'm anxious to see how that all pans out. All right, Jamie at Country Than I Thought I'd Be. Y'all have a great day. Bye.